brother. <laughs> if he burn me. Hey guys, this is a vid of Gaz wearing his new <laughs> his new D Air jacket, Masano trousers. Ted's in the film as well, and his talk out boots. Gaz man. Yo, I've been wearing this all well, we've used them for Spain. Thanks to Martin to get, get the bike stop getting them in before our Spanish trip. I'm actually just, just gonna they this, do look this like is set it up. they always feel like you've put on about 15 stone. But actually this this little bag, this this little bit you do up needs to be pretty flush with you because it's obviously now it's activated this now with the little clip in here so as soon as you put that as soon as you clip that together yeah you're activated all right yep. so you can ride if you wanted to with this open yep. really you should do this up just to make sure the clip keeps up so the airbag yeah it's it's clipped into the whole jacket it's, like a, it's, a, it's like a vest i think i've come out yeah i have come out oh. so it's like a i suppose it's like a vest it's like a life jacket vest yeah, under you, the jacket that's inside the jacket. Yeah, if you unclip all this, you end up with just a Denizi wasp, a Denizi uh, leather jacket. Yeah. So just inside, clipped into, is your airbag, and you've got your canister. I think you've got your CO, whatever the canister is. Canister, canister lives in the there. Look, you can see that lump. That's the that's the must be CO2 canister. It's comfortable. When you look at it, you think, God, it must be. It's a bit lumpy. Um, and when in Spain, especially, we're kind of. Um, I was riding a lot. They were Just very that done like that. They were warm. They're not vented these jackets, so bear in mind they are very, very warm. We we're in thirty degree heat, so. But we have found out hot. that if you, there's a, a fantastic place um, out our way, hideout leather. They actually, if you unclip the airbag from inside, which only takes a few minutes, and unplug it. Yeah. Yeah. You can um, send the jacket to them, and they will perforate the jacket. Yeah, if you um, want, but I was okay in to. Spain. I wasn't too bad. Yeah. It didn't really bother me. But no. you can get them perforated. But I use. I I've been riding to work this last week, so I've been leaving early in the morning. And actually, it's, it's nice to perfect. have it not perforated. If it had yeah. been perforated, I probably wouldn't want to wear a t-shirt under it. Yeah. But at the moment, I wear a t-shirt under it. So yeah. Anyway, we're so we are activated now. So that just proves. Um, at the moment, it's it's got the blue light, just saying basically it's ready to go, and you've got GPS. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Satellites connected to it. Um, so if I actually show you guys and girls, I'm it just done, I'm undoing it now. Right. So we've got a red light saying we're we're not activated. So I've just undone the clip. So in case you've done that by accident, it does let you know. But when you are riding, everything goes off. So I'm going to clip back in. He says. There you go. We clip back in. There you go. Green light. Yeah, two so, green lights, which means it's. Hold on. One, two. Right. So we're now three quarters down on our power because I've used it all week. Yeah. Um. So basically, if you get if you have five green lights flash, yeah, you're full power. Yeah. But if you have two green lights and then three red lights, it's a certain percentage gone down, and it does need. I'm gonna probably get it charged back up today. They last all week. I've ridden mine all week, and yeah. it's not. Yeah. And, I've, and it's not lost any hardly any power at all. The, uh, the the last one, the 2016 model, they had the LED was up on the shoulder, and you couldn't see it when you're riding. So if, it, if something happened to it, it, deactivated, you couldn't actually see if it was on or off, which yeah. is a design fault. Yeah. So now it's on the cuff. It's a lot lot better. But they, I mean, they are. They, I think they're good value for money. I think they're working out just over 1,400 quid, aren't they? Yeah, they're not. It's, the it's a lot of money, but I wouldn't be. I wouldn't ride without one now. Yeah. That we, we, if you can afford one, fine. If you can't, then that, you know that's it. I guess you I mean, can't. See, so yeah, they are a lot of money, but I've actually put mine on a fine. They're not percent deal with Bike Stop, so yeah. I pay 120 pound a month or something for a year. Or I can't remember what what how, what term I did, but I did it with Martin at Bike Stop, and he sorted it out. Yeah. So if you can do that, it doesn't. It's not such a hard hit to pay over yeah. monthly payments as it is to pay it in one go. So the. the the hump there, I think that might have some GPS sensor in it that when you're on your bike, obviously that fires out. And I think it's attached to three or four satellites at any one time. Yeah. And even when we're in tunnels in Spain for like 10 kilometers, it remembered the setting before you went in the tunnel. So it actually worked, would work in the tunnel. Yeah. Wouldn't not work. So that's really clever. Yeah. So it's always, even in tunnels, they always work. So yeah, and they vented. 
they're here that they're vented at the back. You can do that up. So there is a vent there as well. They're just a premium. That's titanium or steel or whatever it is, aluminium. Probably. Yeah, I keep. I don't know why. I've got. I haven't. I don't know. They're, they're scuffing really yeah. well. Well, that's what they're for, they're doesn't matter. They get covered in flies and that and stuff. But they're. But no, great jacket. They come in this colour and a fluoro orange red colour. Stripe, don't but they? It's very yeah. white. We don't. I don't want a white. We'll end up brown after a while. So they're not. Not so good. So this colour is fine. And the trousers. They're. The Misano trousers, the new ones, and they're just ultra comfy. We, we did about a thousand miles in Spain. Uh, three of us, or four of us, had all this gear. Three of us had these trousers, and they're just super comfy. Yeah, they're just ultra, T ultra comfy. Tell you what, though, the jacket, the jacket is. But all of a sudden, wearing it all this week, it's just bedded in now. Yeah, it feels like I've got more room in it now. But to start with, I thought, blimey. Bit tight. They feel but tight. No, feels, they are heavy. Feels really good now. They've got all D3O armour in them as well, obviously. Massive body armour right down to their shoulders, obviously. And D3O uh, back protector as well. Big, big one. Yeah. Uh, Gaz has got the torque out boots as well. Yeah. The only downside to these Misano trousers, the shin protector, if you, if you undo it, the shin protector goes oh, yeah. right down into the boot and there's not much room. But the talk-in boots, like I think Rossi wears them, you can wear these trousers because they've got a double zip. They've got two zips, look, one, two. You can actually wear these over the, the talk-in boots. But with the talk-out boots, you obviously got to wear them inside. There's just enough room. They're a little bit, they're a little bit tight, could, but they're fine. They, they fit, but they're just, there's not much room. If you had big ankles, you probably might struggle with getting them in yeah. the boots, but, but they're I wouldn't mind trying fine. those other boots. At, at bike stop, just try them. Yeah, they're like a slipper, aren't they? The talking boots, yeah. Talking boots, because then you still got your protection. But then you can't really beat these boots with protection, can you? No. Look, look. I mean, you've got so much, and they're so lovely. I used to have Alpine Stars, and they were a pain. Oh, you, oh this adjusts here. These these adjust. This belt goes off, so you when when you got them done up, you can have a lot of slipper bit in there. You can have them do them up. And you can adjust this for different size ankles. And I've got these boots as well with white bits on, and they're, they're so they're like slippers. They're so they are comfy. so comfortable. So yeah, Gaz is all Gaz is, Gaz is all dead. Dying easy doubt. Got a bit of a hangover though today. Have you? Yeah. Oh. Feel pretty bad actually. Is he got, his dogs on, are sniffing around in the bushes. You made me put all this stuff on with a really bad hangover. Yeah, he's got a hangover, but yeah, no I can't. Ride, no I couldn't do it myself. Today. I couldn't review it myself. You can't talk about it when you when you got it on yourself. It's impossible. No, that is good. I'm really, I'm really, really pleased with it. I'd probably say though, I've got quite little risk, but there's there is quite a lot of room here. I mean, it would be probably would be would have been nice to probably have that, perhaps a little bit tighter. I mean, if you want to have adjustments done at a leather place like hideout leather, um, that they can they can do things like that. But yeah, I think we're all pretty chuffed with, it, aren't we? Yeah, cool. You just don't want to ever know whether the airbag works or not. No, not really. You, it only goes off allegedly, doesn't it? Over twenty-five mile an hour. I think so, yeah. I think twenty-five mile an hour. But the Denise, the website's brilliant. You can get all your information from the Denise website, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, just a big shout out to Martin from Bike Stop for getting them literally the day before we went away. <laughs> I think Gar yeah, Gary's wife's laughing at us in the uh, in the kitchen. She's got a hangover too. She's not very happy. <laughs> So yeah, Martin, the top man, did struggle, but they came the day before we went away, and they yeah, were just yeah. He didn't let us down, did he? And they were yeah, they were amazing. And, and then what's happened now? My our dad at seventy three years old. How old is dad? Seventy two. Seventy two. He hasn't ridden a bike for forty five years, <laughs> and he's bought himself a little Vespa, nineteen sixties Vespa. Like sixty three or something. Yeah. So he's been to see Martin at Bike Stop to uh, get himself a Bell crush helmet. Yeah. He was trying to wear an open face crush helmet. We told him he's not allowed. Yeah. And some Denise really nice retro leather gloves. And and, uh, and jeans. And some I've got him Kevlar a Bell, jeans. Oh, yeah, Bell staff jacket. He's got. Oh yeah, Gaz is going to sell yeah. him his Bell staff jacket. Bell staff with armour in it. It's all right trying to be cool on a Vespa, but you still. Anything oh, over 30 mate. mile an hour, you're going to really hurt yourself. Saw a buddy idiot on a bike the other day on a jigsaw with shorts and t-shirt on and flip-flops they're yeah. flip-flops on yeah. what a tit yeah idiot dodgy uh one thing we haven't said about the d-air is if you take it off the charging point i'll oh, show yeah. you we'll lay it on oh yeah somewhere. No, by the way d-air 
some crazy Italian was selling this on eBay for eight quid. That's pretty fake. That's not fake. So, real. right, here we go. So yeah, you can actually really start to look at this now with the with the air, with the actual protector in there and the GPS little bits in there. And that's, that's the GPS is there, yeah. And that's kind of the brains is in this bit here. So if I flip this back round, you can start to you can see very easy to get to. You can see your charging point is here. Yeah. So they, you just plug that in and plug that into USB. Charges in no time at all. And if you want to disconnect the airbag actually from the jacket and you wanted to clean the jacket or air it, then obviously you undo that plug down there. And then there's another plug down here. I haven't done that before, but yeah, another plug down there. No, and there's that's, a, that's, that's oh, look, you can actually fill the canister in there. The yeah. CO2. Is it a CO2 canister? Be, yeah, just in a little bag. So, yep, to recap, just totally recommend these jackets. Ultra comfy. They're the safest thing you can wear on the road. There's nothing safer than these, really. Alpine Star are bringing one out, aren't they? Yeah. Well, they've got one out. It's a lot more money, I think. Well, they have to have it serviced or something as well. And these need servicing after four years or something. But the, if these go off on an accident, obviously not too worried about re uh, gas in it because you've obviously had an accident, but that's probably the least of your worries. But yeah, you can get them redone, send them off to Dianese. But our mate, uh, Mr. Hayes has got a, you've seen some of our videos, he's got a yellow Helite. Helite jacket. Yeah. And we actually set it off. We got someone to pull the cord. <laughs> On the last day we're in Spain. We pulled, pulled the rip cord because it's attached to his bike and it's cheap to set to, uh, Put a new canister in. He's, he's got horses. Went, that went hard as a rock, didn't it? When yeah. That went off. That would, and it didn't really go down, hard. did it? No. But you'll see in one of the yeah one of the then videos. That was twenty five quid for him to get another canister for it. Yeah. I think these go off if they, get, if they do go off. I think they get sent back, and I, I'm sure it's like nearly three hundred pound to get it all fixed back up again. But as Grant said, it's the least. It's going to be the least of your worries, isn't it? Yeah. If you have actually come off and it's it's activated. So brilliant. Really, really, really chuffed with them. As I said. Martin at Bike Stop will sort you out in Stevenage. Oh, there's other places you can get them from too, but he is such a lovely, enthusiastic guy. He knows his stuff. And he do 0% finance over a year, so if someone's struggling to cough out all that money in one go, then that's the way to do it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Good investment. Definite, yeah, definite good investment. I think the wives and the wives and the and the mums and the, all that are all quite chuffed we're riding now with, with the airbags. Yeah. Air jackets. Definitely. Airbags. Tea bags. Try riding with tea bags. The uh, so yeah. All right, guys, cool. But I hope you enjoyed that little vid. Gaz in his gear. Oh, he just oh no, just fell over his uh, bird bath. <laughs> over his bird bath. So, right, cheers, guys. Ah.